Kevin Smith, I have one question to ask you. Why? Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Yoga Hosers. So Yoga Hosers, I guess, is a spin-off to Tusk from a couple of years ago. This film is directed by Kevin Smith. It stars Lily Rose Depp and Harley Quinn Smith. And the film is about these two teenage girls, both named Colleen, that go to yoga and they basically hate everything in life. They're on their phones 24-7. And then the father and his girlfriend all of a sudden decide decides to go ahead and take a trip and so because of that they actually have to work at the mar and it gets in the way of their plans because they're gonna go to this totally rad party so while they're working at the mar weird shit happens yeah this movie's terrible this movie is unfortunately what I expected and I don't like saying that because Kevin Smith is a really good guy he's a really talented guy I even do love to watch his podcast whenever I have a chance but Kevin Smith has this thing where because he doesn't like critics he likes to piss them off and so knowing that he made this movie bad on purpose that honestly really pisses me off but yes there are a few good things I can say about yoga hosers and one thing I'll say is that Lily Rose Depp, Johnny Depp's daughter, and Harley Quinn Smith, Kevin Smith's daughter, they're both actually very good in this film. I'll get to their characters later, but as far as their performances, they're actually both really good in this film. I actually think for what they need to try to do for such a terrible script, they did a really good job, to be honest. I also will say Johnny Depp, although not in this film that much, He's actually very funny in this film. I actually really enjoyed his character and whenever he pops up on screen I'm actually laughing. He's definitely the funniest thing about this film and I'll probably say he's actually the best thing about this film. I thought the cinematography in Yoga Hosers not for nothing but it was actually very good looking. I thought it was actually very well shot as far as its cinematography. And I will say that Kevin Smith's direction, for the most part, I thought it was pretty good at best. And that's all I can credit Yoga Hosers because everything else about this movie, oh my god. Like I said, Kevin Smith does not even try because you could tell watching this, he doesn't try with the script. He just throws in all these ideas. Like the first half of this film, basically nothing outrageous really happens. It's not really once you get into the second half where you see some really weird shit just happening and I really was not a fan of what I was watching. There's this whole storyline dealing with these Nazi bratwurst. I forgot what they were called called but there is actually a little history behind them and how they were created the whole origin was just so stupid those scenes with the Nazi bratwurst have to be some of the worst scenes I've seen in 2016 this movie was already bad but whenever it came to those bratwurst scenes it just gave the movie a whole new level of bad. And I know Kevin Smith is aware he's all stupid and all, but I feel like that if he did in a way where it wasn't so frustrating and so annoying, because I honestly was very annoyed watching this film, this could have been a very cheesy, fun, B-rated film, but because of its really terrible execution, it's really on purpose bad writing, and even sometimes the direction, although it's not bad, it is out of place sometimes, and that's where I do go with Kevin Smith's direction. While for the most part it's very well directed, some of it felt really out of place. And then there's also the teenagers. Now like I said, I thought Lily Rose Depp and Harley Quinn Smith were really good in this film, but their characters 
were so annoying. The only reason they're a little bit more tolerable is because the actresses were really good for what they were given, but their characters. I really hated these characters. I really did not care about them. It was really hard to get behind them. They were just your typical, generic, stereotypical teenagers that hate life, and that's all there was to them. There's no real character development or anything like that with these teenagers. It's just them being teenagers that hate life, and that's about it. Also, a lot of the acting's really bad, too. Austin Butler, who I actually like, he was not good in this film. I actually thought he was pretty terrible in this film, very over the top, and the same does go for, like, his friends. And then the third act, which is where you learn about the origin of these Bratwurst and how they came to life and all that, that was really ridiculous, and the third act somehow got worse than what the first two acts really delivered. Also, does this movie happen to hate Canadians? Because this movie tries to be as offensive as possible with the Canadian jokes and it really got on my nerves. I wasn't offended with the Canadian jokes, but I could see actual Canadians out there either being offended or annoyed by this film. I was really just annoyed. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Oh my god, stop! Stop! Please, just, please just stop! Oh, and the movie just happens to have these texts! Whenever a character appears, there's actually these texts that come up and it shows us like their name and a little bit of a description about them. Literally, every time a character pops up, they do these texts for the first 30 minutes. Luckily, they stopped with that after the first 30 minutes, but for the first 30 minutes when they kept doing that over and over and over again, it really got them my nerves and the humor do I even have to bring up the humor besides the scenes with Johnny Depp the humor is just downright terrible nothing was really making me laugh besides the scenes when Johnny Depp does pop up but the movie is just absolutely unbearable also the father character too he was also unbearable thank goodness he's only in the beginning of this film but I could not stand the father he really got my nerves the girlfriend's not likable either that's the problem this film doesn't really have any likable characters besides for maybe Johnny Depp and even though he is stupid it says some outrageous shit in this film at least I got behind his character all these characters are just so annoying that's hard to really root for anyone overall you guys yoga hosers is a bad movie all this film did was either make me facepalm or get me a annoyed because oh my god this movie was so annoying or I would just be flat out frustrated and I'm even more frustrated because Kevin Smith clearly made this to piss off critics oh yeah and there's even a joke about the negative critics in the third act of Yoga Hosers and once I heard that line you could clearly tell Kevin Smith made this just for critics to watch this and bash it. You could tell at that point on, this film was literally made to piss off critics. Kevin Smith, people are gonna see films differently. There are some people that could like films out there, kinda like with this one. Some people could like this film, while others could not like this film or downright hate it. Like me, I downright hated this film. That's just the reality, Kevin Smith. Not everyone is gonna be 100% impressed with your movies. I know that's the harsh reality, but not everyone is going to like a movie. No matter how good it is, no matter how bad it is, there's always going to be that one person that's going to feel differently. Stop making movies bad on purpose. But I have to be honest here and say that I hated Yoga Hosers. I was really pissed off, honestly, watching this film. And obviously, I'm going to give Yoga Hosers one and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Yoga Hosers. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.